I'm K. And I'm J. And we are the men in black. I just erased your previous expectations about teaching, and it's now a new teaching world. We're coming to you today to thank you for continuing your efforts with the global intergalactic at-home learning mission. Yes, it is a new way of doing things for a while, but you are doing some fantastic things for our community, and we are so thankful for what you're doing. We're in some crazy times, Sport. 1,500 years ago, everyone thought the Earth was the center of the universe. 500 years ago, they thought the Earth was flat. And 15 days ago, we thought we would finish the school year in our classrooms. Imagine what we'll know tomorrow. You know, there's much, not much to social activities anymore the way we used to know. And now we have this social distancing thing going on, Jay. Good thing we have our social distancing blasters that will keep everyone at a six foot or greater distance. Yes, it is. Um, maybe we should share what we have from our special Men in Black kits. Jay, what do you think? I've got some things to share. Maybe you can share some as well. Sounds like a great idea. So first of all, I have my sanitizer. That will help keep my hands sanitized, clean, and protect myself and protect me from somebody else. I also wanted to share with you, I have my special water. As we invaded the planet of Phygi, I confiscated some of their water. Okay. How about you? I have my, I have my handy dandy mask. Let's That's clean air, it lets clean air in and lets me breathe out. Very nice. I, I brought my special men in black mask, but I agree, these are very, very important in these times, no doubt. Um, I'll share a couple other things with you. I have my, my handy dandy brush just to keep looking good. Yeah. And Swiss, when I need Swiss Miss hot chocolate, I got it with me. Any, any other devices you have? That's important stuff. I think that's about all I have. I think you're a little more prepared than I am, okay? Uh, there are some other, go ahead. Wow, you've got all kinds of stuff there. I just want to make sure you have your handy dandy close up blaster in case anybody gets too close. You know, you back off six feet away and that's what you do. And I wanted to share one more thing with you because I think this could come in handy and I think you actually have one of these devices as well. You know what this is? This is to use in times when you just get teed off. I just wanted to share that with you. I definitely have one of those and uh, we'll need to use it for that very reason, okay? You know, there's some other things we all need to do, like staying home, staying healthy, and staying connected. Don't let the alienation get to you. Very true. Very good warning and good, good example there. You know, staying connected with our families, our friends, and our students is really, really important. Being in isolation is not what we need to be doing. So we hope everybody's staying in touch. You know, and seriously, Bulldog family, we just can't say enough. We compliment you enough for everything that you're doing. We're hearing some fantastic stories. You're stepping it up. You're doing great things for your students, for their families, and we hope you're taking care of your own families as well. We'll be sharing with you later on um, in RATS and in TVSDA happenings, some of the things that you have shared with us as far as positive things happening in classrooms or with students. I've also received some emails from parents who miss you and are ready to have their kids come back to you. So thank you for what you're doing. I agree, Kay. Thank you for all that you're doing, guys. Make sure you're taking time for your own mental and emotional health and uh, invest in positive things like caring, reaching out, compassion, and patience with yourself and with others. Um, also, remember about understanding and grace. Again, thank you for all that you're doing. Your advice, thank you. And that's so you can forget that last image.
Well, okay. What do you think? Oh my goodness, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> you did not. Not really. <laughs> That'd be a good blooper too. <laughs> That'd be a good blooper. <laughs> yes, 15 years ago, everyone thought the Earth was 15. the center of the universe. 1500. Huh? 1500, not 15. Did I say 15 years ago? There's a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good blooper. Okay, back up. Okay. <laughs>